Colts fans are kind of like the worst fans, you know, like when their team sucks, they really just don't follow their team. I'm sure that uh, you probably hate us more than we hate you uh, because we win. Thought the day I was married and my kids being born, going to a Colts game are the best days of my life. We get out there and we are just full Texans all day. Our house is blue, the garage is blue, the truck is blue. Well, I travel nine hours every home game to come here. Look, this is our division. We beat you last season, we're gonna do it again. Wherever we go, you know that we're proud of where we're from. Texas, you know, it's football. Houston, well, you got a lot of highways it looks like. We have awesome city limits. We have the Alamo. It's not a bad place, but a bad place for football. And they live in Indianapolis. Like, what is there fun to do in Indianapolis? Indianapolis, uh, how I picture heaven will look like one day. Oh, Andy Luck. Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck. The beard. Look at the beard. Just look at the beard. Anybody that talks trash about Andrew Luck, it's like they're talking trash about my family. Not everybody can rock that beard. I don't know what's growing inside of it. Right here, buddy. It probably smells really bad. Andrew Luck, you know, he looks like he's made for beards. I hope we take this chump down. Can't really say anything bad about J.J. Watt. I like J.J. Watt, he's a good guy. I know my wife loves him. J.J., man, keep doing it. I'd rather not play against him twice a year. I think he is probably Houston's hero. He's one I can't hate. This is honestly the only bright spot of the last, like, three seasons. So you got the board of shame and Mostly Shane, let's not lie. And it's one, two, three, four, what, 10 quarterbacks? It's a lot of quarterbacks in 10 years. I don't even know the names of some of these people, actually, which is probably really sad. Find, find somebody, man. You get all these draft picks, you always finish worse than we do, and you still can't find a quarterback. Whedon, uh, Hoyer, Osweiler, Case Keenum. Case Keenum, hometown kid, always like him. I mean, they've had like more quarterbacks than we've had fourth quarter comebacks. Well, this sums up Houston. Quite a bit of quarterbacks in the past, but uh, I think we finally have a franchise uh, quarterback in Brock. Brock it, man. Yeah, I think you might have uh, got the short end of the stick. I'm happy about this guy. I think Denver knew what was up and said goodbye to him while they had the chance. He's one million times better than Brian Hoyer. I think we'll see an 11th quarterback there on that uh, picture next uh, next season. We'll see how many people in and uh, Houston can spell Osweiler's last name without looking at his jersey, and then we'll go from there. It's just a sense of like something to like talk about on Sundays and you know, hang out with your friends. To have the whole family cheer together and support something together, it is really amazing. They give you unconditional love, and we give them that back. You know, it's like a big family. Hey, people love this sport, and it's, uh, it's kind of cool. Win or lose, we take it all together.